Welcome everybody, RP here and I am in Ranch Simulator and I am going to make a video where I show you step by step how I create my dairy pens. I've gotten a few requests from you guys to please make a detailed video. Well, okay, detailed you want, detailed you shall get. So here's what we're going to do. How I start this, we've got a nice open area right here and I've got some wood, I've got everything we need to go. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna start off very simply with fencing. So let's go ahead and get into our fence build menu here. And so I need enough room to do this. this. This should be enough room. So I start off with basically like, okay, where am I going to be? So this first fence is key to everything. So I'm going to lay down two fences for the pen, two fences for the platform, forms and two fences for the other side of the pen so we've got two four six one two three four five six okay so that's the overall size of the design the next thing we need to do is make the turn. Okay, so thank you so much. Throughout my playthrough, I've gotten some great comments. This comment came from uh, Iceman. And what you do is you want to click 18 times. You ready? With your mouse wheel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Boom. That's your straight line. So we want to connect these, get this next one straight. We go over here. There it is, it's going straight down the line. The next one will be automatic. So how I'm gonna build this for you guys is a kind of a compact version. This is actually how I'm going to build my next dairy pen when I do my next playthrough because I'm going to keep it a little more compact. So each fence represents a pen. So we've got three pens and we're going to have three on the other side for a total of six. Uh, we can do 12 cows comfortably to get, uh, what, uh, 42, 42, 82 gallons of milk. So that's, uh, that, that, that's the math. So that's the size. And if you want it bigger, eat, remember, each one of these fences that you add is going to be your pen until you make the turn. Fair enough? All right, let's continue. We need 18 clicks to make the turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Boom. Let's go ahead and get a nice straight line again. That looks right, right there. There we go. So this is how I do it. This is my, uh, you know... This is how I've learned, you know, like, again, through tips, like Iceman's tip on doing this 18 clicks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Boom. Now watch this. Get this one nice and straight. Boom. You ready? Boom. Is that not beautiful? Thank you, Iceman. All right, so now that we have that, let me get out of this. All right, so now we've got, we're square. We're square. So how I reinforce this is we're going to add some wood in the end over here, and over here, and over here, and right here. Going to go get the other side and... Put some wood in that real quick. Okay, with wood placed in the end pieces here, we've got two down here, two right here, two here and two here. Now this is left undone and that's because this is where the platforms are gonna go. So at this point, go ahead and remove this. It's fine. We're gonna leave these blueprints where they are and leave these where they are because we still need them, but we don't need these. Now we can start to build our foundations so this is the hard part this is the part that takes a little bit of your patience a little bit of your time and what you're gonna try to do is you're gonna try to eyeball it the best you can 
Okay, so I'm inside the fence here. And what I want to do is I want to get in as evenly as possible so that I can see that I'm lined up. You see how I'm lined up like this, but the other end is not. So I want to get my camera so that that angle is correct right there. Now, if I push forward and I stop right at where the the post is, not the, not the actual, uh, you know, the fence that's sticking out, but the post they're attached to. This is what I'm trying to do. And I'm trying to line myself up. See, I kind of got off line there. I'm using the third rail as a guide to try to be as flush and even. Oh, I just went. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Get as flush and even as you can, and then take a look. And what you're looking for is this to be up against this fence like this. And this end to be just like that. You see how it's nice and level? Nice and even? You have to, you have to do it by hand. But if you can get that place just like I have it, and that's pretty good. I got it the first time. I think this is going to be... Yeah, I think this is going to be fine, and I'll show you what I mean. And if it's not, we just have to do it over until it is. So now we connect here, and we connect here. And if this worked out correctly, when you get down to the end, you should be pretty even. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, this kind of comes right up to the post. And this one is just a little bit away from the post. So as long as this one is even, which it is, and this one is even, which it is, this is your little gap. You, it, you know, it's going to be very, very tough not to have just a tiny little gap. All right. And uh, I, I think we can work with that. That gap is not... Uh, is not something we have to worry about. Uh, okay, so the other thing is, is, is now that we have that, let's go ahead. We're going to add some more foundation here. And we're going to add it right along here. Because this is where our cheese curing room is going to be. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to place these foundations in here just like this. So right now at this point, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to build out the, the foundations right here. And then we're going to add the middle pens. We're going to add a fence here and a fence here that connects to the foundation here. So let me get that done. This All that is, guys, I'm just going to add the wood. We don't have to take all day to do that. Let me just add the wood and then we'll uh, we'll continue from there. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've filled in all of the uh, pieces here of the blueprint, and you can see what we have going on right now. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the fencing right in here. So let's get back to our blueprints. Let's go ahead and grab our fence. And now once you're here on this part of the fence, put your mouse so that it pushes into the blueprint and click 18 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Boom. Boom. Is that beautiful? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to repeat that right over here. Uh, look at that. I just figured out something. If you just move right over to here, you can go ahead and get a free lineup. And there you go. There's your pens. Okay. Now, we're not going to do anything right now. What we're going to do, I mean, not that we're not going to do anything, guys. We are going to do something. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put wood here. And we're going to put wood here. Because sometimes there is a little bit of a glitch 
when you're putting up the framing. So what I want to do is I want to cement these lines just like that because I'm probably not going to be able to put my framing up. On this side, I will be able to because there's a, enough of a gap right here. But this side is tight. So we are not going... See how this is coming right up on here? See how that blueprint's right in there? So what we're going to have to do to get our framing up is remove this and remove this. Now that we have our boundary in place here, I'm going to go ahead and remove this one. I'm going to keep this one because I need it to anchor when we go ahead and put our gates up. So what I'm going to do is, while I'm talking about it, let's just go ahead and put the gates up. Now, the gate clicks right onto that one. You go ahead and shut the gate. The next one should click. Let's see here. Where is it? I don't know why it's not clicking. I might have to build that gate out. But I'm going to leave that just like that. I need that as, a, as my anchor. And I can go ahead and I can uh, remove this. And then, uh, let me build this out real quick. Just to make sure. You'll see why I'm doing this. And this is probably what you should do too. Just do exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put my framing up. So we need framing here, and we need it there, 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 and there. See, I don't have to remove the fence here because, you know, there's enough of a gap. But you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. We're also going to need some framing. Actually, what we can do here is let's go ahead and do this and this and this and this and this and this. All right. So there's your frame. We're going to go ahead and we're going to build this frame up real quick. I hope this uh, helps you guys. Um, I got a lot of requests for this, and I do appreciate the um, the uh, request. I don't mind doing something like this. This is going to be, you know, a little bit longer of a video, and I don't want to have to edit it too much for you guys. I want you to see uh, the actual building, you know, how we have to deal with everything. You saw how we started with the blueprint. Now uh, we got the fence in, nice and straight. And, uh, you know, I think that's the part that's got everybody a little bit, uh, you know, aggravated and also, you know, connecting up the pens. So I hope to this, this foundation here. So I hope this method that I'm showing you, excuse me, there's going to be an edit there, folks. I just totally had to hack up a lung. Um, yeah, so anyway... Continuing on here, we're going to get our frame in. I hope you all are doing good, and I hope you guys are uh, understanding what I'm doing here, and I hope this helps you in your build. And if it does, I would really appreciate it if you might hit that like button <laughs> so that others can see the video as well. And maybe come and join me on my ranch and uh, hit that subscribe button if you just happen to stumble across this. All right, so we've got that. I do not need, I, I am going to keep this because like I said, I've got to, uh, I've got to put the gates in. All right, so that's what we're going to do now. Let's go ahead and we're going to get the gates in. Go over to the miscellaneous and let's grab a gate. This gate, what, these gates should snap. Somebody's got to snap. There we go. All right. Snap, close. And then the next one, I don't know why that is not giving me my snap again. Let me see. Oh, there we go. I got it. 
All right, so the blueprint's going to get lost in there, guys. So did you see how I did that? Now this one will snap. All right, so remember that. You've got to do the... Uh, let it fall into the blueprint, like right now. i got to let it fall in... There, it snapped. Excellent. Snap. Very good. All right, we are winning. We are winning, folks. And it's starting to rain. Let's go ahead and put these gates in. That gives us our gates. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to connect this up right here. Going to go ahead and we're going to throw in the blueprints for the fence right there and right there. Go ahead and build out these fences. And we're looking pretty good. Now, like I said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get rid of this fence. We don't need it. We're going to get rid of this fence and this fence. All right, at this point, we're going to build our walls. I'm going to use the greenhouse walls. You guys can use whatever walls you see fit. I happen to be a fan of the greenhouse walls. Those are the walls that I use. And now you can see why we don't need the fence. Animals can't get through the wall, and there we go. Let's go ahead and get our angle pieces. One here. One here. here. All right, let's fill in the triangles real quick. Let's go ahead and put the roof on the uh, cow milking area here. And again, finish that off with the triangles. Get that up there. There we go. Find it a little difficult. Uh, to get the camera angle sometimes at this. Let me go into the, There we go. I think this is the... Probably the better way to do it is to go into first person when you're building. I think I learned... I think I think I learned that from Brito. 
I think that's what that's how I ended up getting my roof to to go on was uh, I picked that up from uh, Brito I definitely did so I got my fence uh, 18 clicks from Iceman and I got my first person build view from uh, from my good friend Brito all right great so there you go we're all uh, roofed up let's take a look at what we got going on here So I think this was probably the hardest part for everybody uh, that was contacting me and asking me for a more detailed video. And so, like I said, if if you build the uh, fence the way that I did, let's go ahead and uh, let's add our, our ramps. I like to make it uh, with the ramps because I like to be able to drive uh, one of the vehicles up here like the small uh small uh utv and there we go let me get out of first person and uh yeah so what i'll do is just to give you guys uh you know the finished product let me go ahead and i'll just uh i'll just knock out the rest of it so that you can see it in its uh entirety and uh yeah i hope uh I hope that helps you. I hope that that solves your issues. And um, thank you so much for requesting this. And uh, again, if you uh, if you liked it, please uh, smash that like button. Drop a few comments if you've got any other uh, building tips uh, that I can use. But uh, yeah, this will hold. Like I said, you can either do six cows or you can do twelve cows. Three on each side, two in each pen if you wanted. Uh, you know, it would be up to you. And again, you could build upon this. You can expand upon this. You don't have to do like I did. I only did three pens. You could make it whatever you want, but you need to make the fence exactly like that and remove the middle pieces, find that sweet spot and be able to lay your platforms. So uh, let me go ahead and finish this out and we'll, uh, we'll end this video and we'll take a look at it when it's fully done. All right, here it is. It's all fleshed out, the pieces that we needed to flesh out, which is, uh, you know, you guys can handle that. I'm sure you can all build walls, so uh, that's not the problem that we were trying to address here. The uh, problem was getting your fences uh, square and getting this part in between the fences and having it look as sweet as it does. Next process is go ahead and add your lights. Every other beam is how I do it, and uh, yeah. Thank you so much for requesting this video, guys. Obviously, you would uh, put your ramps right here. And if you were like me, you'd build your chicken coop right off of here, baby. Make sure you got those chickens nice and close to your milk. So that's it for me, guys. I hope this helped out for you. That's a detailed step-by-step -step video on how I build my dairy. Thank you so much. See you uh, ranchers later, and ta-ta, and bye-bye.